Hello, sweet souls. Happy Monday, October 23rd. This is going to be your full length reading on TikTok or YouTube. If I exceed the 10 minutes, watch me on YouTube. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. So yesterday, yesterday late, um, I noticed uh, one of my cards out of my deck was behind my desk on the floor. So I thought that was very odd. Um, so I picked it up to see what it was. And the card that was on the floor behind my desk was get more connected, meditate, meditate and spend time in nature. So I wanted to find out what the message was behind this. Cause I was getting the energy that for some of you, you've been really stressed out, very overwhelmed. And so I wanted to find out why they were bringing this to my attention. So the first card out in the tarot was the nine of wands. This is you feeling like you're in a constant battle, constantly fighting, constantly having to defend yourself, um, constantly fighting to be in a high vibration. Why? Because there's so much deception around you. There's, there is so many people trying to send negative energy, but God is trying to say to you, if you will go in prayer, if you will get connected, go out in nature, just talk to God. It doesn't have to be an official prayer. Just talk to God. You will find that this situation with these deceptive energies have no impact on you. You are not trapped. You are free. It's only the mind that creates the illusion that we're trapped. And with the Eight of Swords in reverse, it's clearly showing you that you're not trapped. You have, in fact, so many wishes coming your way. This is your wishes and dreams coming true, emotional fulfillment, things that you're really excited about, you know, things you will create on your own. And if you look in this card, there's a rat in the beam that's spying on this man, okay? See, I don't know if you guys can see the rat, but the rat has not had any impact on the, the image, this man here and his joy at his creation, what he has received. Um, he's still celebrating. It's, it's not impacting him at all. And that's what they're saying. You are not trapped. Your dreams are st and wishes are still coming. Um, this is an illusion, okay? They're also saying to fight this, whether it's an internal chaos and conflict based on the deceptive um actions of other people or it's actually a projection of these deceptive people they're saying fight that chaos and conflict with love be in your love energy be in that highest vibration it cannot touch you when you're in that vibration because love is the highest vibration it's powerful they're saying walk away from any people places or things that do not bring you peace it doesn't matter if it's your family, if it's your friends you've known your whole life, if it's ex-loves, current loves, if they do not bring peace to your life, God is saying, walk away. It is not emotionally fulfilling for you and you need to walk away. Because the Nine of Cups is here. The Eight of Cups is the action that needs to be taken in order to reach the Nine of Cups. So whether this is mentally walking away, physically walking away, uh, whatever it is, they're saying you have to walk away and set boundaries. You have a lot of divine protection, but you need to set those boundaries, firm boundaries with people that do not bring you peace. Take your power back and focus on your passions. What, what do you want to create in this lifetime? What makes you happy? They really want you to focus on what you're inspired to do because a new path is going to be open to you. This is a brand new start, a brand new beginning. This is spiritually led, spiritually guided. This is something that is gonna turn out amazing for you. We do see this same King of Swords that has been in our readings yesterday. This is a champion. This is, this is like a true knight in shining armor. That's what I feel, the energy I feel. This is someone that's gonna come into your life and it's gonna amaze you that there is such an honest human being on the earth. <laughs> Because let's face it, after you've experienced so much deception with people, you're going to be amazed at this person's honesty, um, integrity, loyalty, devotion. This is someone that's going to come in and is going to take this journey with you. This is going to lead to not only recognition for your works, for your creation, but it's going to 
be success. It's going to be victorious. And this person is meant to come in and encourage you, support you, protect you on this path to success. Okay. So now typically masculine energies in a 3d realm, they provide physical protection to the high priestess energy. Now, if you are a masculine, you're a high priest. So you're very tapped in, you're very intuitive, you're very psychic, you're very protected by God. The feminine protects the masculine in the spiritual realm. So that's the difference in the duties of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Um, we also see the result of this deceptive energy that you are picking up on or that is being projected at you. This was a past life karmic to you and so this person is still trying to hold on to your energy they're saying this person is going through significant endings in their life this is someone that wanted to destroy you but they will be defeated abandoned and rejected now this is not for you to worry about they're just giving it the information to you to make you aware of it the divine is saying choose to focus on your creative endeavors, your passionate new beginning, things that God is bringing to the forefront that are inspiring for you, that inspire other people. Now is the time to close out the cycle of pain and deception. You are not no longer in the energy of allowing these type of people in your life. So it is time for you now to release the energy and go forward in a, in a love vibration creative energy where you can focus on your own passions and dreams because they're really encouraging you now to get to work put in the time attention and effort into manifesting what do you want to create now is the time to let this nasty deceptive energy go whether it's in the physical or spiritual realm and start focus on your creation let's see what else what else do we need to know holy spirit holy angel saints spirit guides and ancestors what else do we need to know, please? Yeah, now is the time to drop that burden, to pour into your own cup, do what makes you happy, and allow the sun to shine in again. This is success. This is happiness. This is joy. Drop the burden of the projection of other people. Drop the burden of your past experiences. They don't serve you any longer. They were there for a lesson, and that's it. It's time to move past it now. You have a beautiful match coming in. Now, this match, they could have fire placements, Aries, Leo, Sag, or they could actually be a Sagittarius with a temperance card here. This is someone that's your match that is coming to co-create with you that is going to be your number one fan, your biggest supporter, someone that will love you for exactly who you are, that will give equally to you. So that's beautiful. What else do we need to know? Wow, this is going to give you the strength and courage you need to focus on building your legacy, building generational wealth. Continue to go within, continue to seek guidance from the divine and continue to stay private. But this is destined for you. You are the man or lady of luxury. You are meant to be uh, an entrepreneur, a business owner. You were meant to be self-sufficient and independent. You were meant to co-create with the divine. This is justice as well as the soul connection that's coming in. This is justice for you. Everything that it, you, happened to you in the past was seen by God, and now is the time for you to reap the reward. Yeah, look at that, Queen of Pentacles. So much financial abundance here. You being grounded and stable, you leveling up to the Empress, that high vibrational energy, abundant, nurturing, creative energy, and that's bringing in your good karma peace for some of you travel relocating embracing this new beginning in the high priestess energy taking this endings as a celebration of a rebirth a new beginning not sadness behind the ending but an opportunity for massive growth for you to spread your wings and fly this is beautiful 
because all you needed was time to heal. And now that you've healed, it's time to get to work. It's time to get to work on what it is you're meant to create in this lifetime, which is, which is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I did do the Wisdom of the Oracle. Unfinished Symphony. It's time to drop the burden of this karmic cycle and step into who you're meant to be. No place like home. Your true authentic self. It's going to go the distance. It's meant to to happen this way. You are meant to be this person. And now you have the freedom to be who you're meant to be. Continue to stay present in the here and now. Living in a space of love and gratitude, um, that's gonna call more of that into your life. That's what God wants for you. That's why we got this message. To change your perspective and to release negative energy, whether it's yours or someone else's projecting on you and allow yourself to be free to create to explore love and create that's that's what i'm getting so i think i'll do a part two to see if there's anything else coming for this i'll use a different deck and also i'll do some oracle decks so all right guys i love you i hope that you have an amazing day bye bye